Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is video blog number seven, and I'm reporting in for the activity of One Community for the week of April 7th. Everything that we've uh, accomplished that is a visible representation of our progress in creating an open source project launch blueprinting, everything necessary to create self sustainable, self sufficient, and self-replicating teacher demonstration villages, cities, and communities to be built around the world. This week, uh, in our endeavor to create those things, we focused on four primary areas that have real visible results. And if you'd like to see the images and links related to everything that I'm talking about, I always do a written blog in relation to this as well so that you can see those images. And there's a lot in relation to stuff this week. Uh, and the, that written blog is in the description down below if you're watching this on YouTube. So uh, the four areas that we uh, made serious significant progress on this last week has been food infrastructure, uh, Sago Center City Hub, Education for Life program, and our open source time tracking application, which is going to be a huge aspect of what it is that we're doing. So in the food infrastructure aspect, we have completed our site plan for three different Wallapini designs, Two of those are aquapinis. One is a large-scale food production. The other one's a zen aquapini, more for a personal use and growing a diversity of food. We've got, uh, and then traditional wallapinis as well. And so we've got the whole site plan done for that. And we've got the, uh, the first generation designs, uh, architectural plans for the zen aquapini as well. And you can see pictures of all that in the written blog. On the Sago Center, um, we've made continued progress with our CAD details on that, including fourth floor bathrooms, uh, some space planning in the social dome, as well as a laundry, a, a laundry, a little cleaning closet addition. And uh, we have one more thing to do on that, which is the addition of uh, another emergency exit. And we'll be on or back to focusing on 3D while we wait for mechanical, electrical, and plumbing engineering. On the... Uh, Education for Life program, we have we've got tons happening behind the scenes, but things that you can see right now, click on and see right now, we have two more pages that have been added to the website, two more curriculum pages that have been added. Uh, number one would be the communication and language skills page, uh, curriculum page, as well as the sharing and giving and receiving curriculum page. And so both of those are up now. And last but certainly not least is we've completed our first of three blogs. The other two are written, but we're still editing them and we'll release them over the next couple weeks. Discussing our path to time tracking and developing the application that we've been now developing for the last six months. We've been beta testing it for the last three months, but it was two years in getting to the point of creating this application and really recognizing what's possible with this application, which we'll be sharing the raw, well not the raw, the refined and objective data on exactly how long it takes to build every single component of one community indefinitely because the building of one community is going to be an ongoing process as we do the seven different sustainable village models and continued food production and infrastructure and continued energy infrastructure, all these different details. And so we're creating an app specific to tracking that and then plugging other people into that application as well, other communities following in our footsteps, using our open source blueprints, and plugging them into that app as well so that they can deliver additional data. And we can collect this as a global collaborative of all of the different communities and villages and cities working together and showing, hey, it took us this long to build this version. It took us this long to build this version. And on top of that, being able to collect objective data on exactly what this definition, this idea of fulfilled living, this more more enriched living experience, this more fulfilled living experience, well, what does that mean? Well, we'd like to provide objective data on that and say, hey, this means this many hours of personal growth. It means this many hours are actually invested in building and evolving, and this many hours are actually invested in the administrative aspects of it, and, and really run those numbers and refine those numbers and be able to provide that data which I don't think there's anything really in existence right now doing that. And so as one community continues to move forward and continues to open source and free share everything that we've done, we're super excited to be able to now share this application. And so 
that blog, this blog is the first of three discussing our process to creating this application. And at the bottom of the blog now, and I'll include it in the in the uh, in the blog discussing this as well. Um, there's a link, and you can actually see the application. It's not quite as developed as what we're using right now because we're constantly building it and upgrading it, and adding more and more functionality and details to it. Um, but you can do a little test drive there. And if you're somebody who is a coder, you that information, the the source code for it, is all now available as well on GitHub. So we're excited to be able to open source and free share that so that people can take all the hard work that we've done, which is months and months of work, and uh, and use it, put it to use, or evolve it in a different direction, just like everything that we're doing. So that's my update for the week of April 7th, 2013. And uh, as always, thanks for everybody that's following our project. Thank you for all of our folks that are connected with us on Facebook, on our Facebook updates page. Thanks for everyone that's following us on Twitter. And if you love what we're doing, you want to support us, of course, please like this video, click that like button, share this video. We love that too. Send us wonderful emails, make comments, and, uh, and, and, feel, and get involved. Our project is always looking for people to get involved. We're always accepting applications for new Pioneer members, the people that are going to move onto the property and build everything that is one community. And we're also always looking for people that would just be interested in consulting or partnering with us and helping out on the side and just plugging into the different components if you have special expertise and would like to help evolve these components and make them even better. Contact us. Let us know. And of course, because we're open source, because we're free shared and there are no limitations of patents or copyrights on anything that we do, by all means, if you like what we're doing but would like to do it differently, or if you like what we're doing and feel you can do it better, take the information that we put out there, use it, apply it, take it in a different direction, take it in a better direction. Bottom line is what's most important to us is to really spread these ideas, to get the information out there, and move towards the future that we believe is inevitable and the shift that is happening right now which we're so honored and, and uh, it's just such a pleasure to be a part of. And so with that, I'm signing off until next week. Thanks always for following our project and have yourself a beautiful day.